Lazy Jane Collection for sponsoring a portion of this video. I'm the type of person that hates blow drying and using excess heat on my hair. The Lazy Jane shampoo and conditioner does the work for me by starting the styling process in the shower to bring out my hair's natural texture and make for a super easy styling routine. The Lazy Jane collection is sulfate free, paraben free, cruelty free, and has a vegan formula enriched with hemp seed oil which hydrates, protects, and seals the hair cuticle. I also just really love the scent. It smells like lavender which is super soothing especially if you wash your hair at night. So right when I get out of the shower, I like to moisturize my skin and get ready for the day while my hair air dries. And when I first used this product, I was so shocked at how smooth and frizz free it left my hair. I'll usually just leave my hair as is, but since I'm going out to meet Cassie, I decided to quickly add a couple loose curls to finish off the look. If you would like to check out Eva NYC and their Lazy Jane collection, click the link in the description box below. remember yeah. the last time I was there but it's always a good vibe it really reminds me of Korea mm -hmm. because I believe it is Korean owned but a lot of the cafes in Korea are like Lafare in that they add a lot of plants a lot of like concrete it just like aesthetically just reminds me of Korea and the food was amazing we had panini I had a chicken one she had a chicken one but mine didn't have tomatoes in it but right now we are on the way to the pumpkin, the pumpkin patch as per our tradition we always go to the pumpkin patch every single year just because that's the only thing like festive festive and vloggable because if you think about halloween everything happens at night mm -hmm. so i mean the pumpkin patch is the easiest to like take content in and it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day um ooh, there's the light apparently it's very like social distance friendly too um you go by you buy your tickets ahead of time and you like they only allow people a certain amount of people like per hour so it's good so we got here like 20 minutes ago just lingering in the car, in the car. how's little chippy doing oh that should be, <laughs> i was like what are you talking about <laughs> that should be your mascot just, for chip no, tooth I mean, oh i thought i put my lipstick on it because it has blush <laughs> cute were you saying, because you like stuck it to the back yeah. window, right? And you said it was scary. Yeah, because yeah I always, always think it's a head or something. So I'm wearing like a corset kind of thing. And the string is literally stuck to the chair. I had to undo it because it was too tight. Oh, that's I need right. you to loosen it. Okay, let's do an outfit of the day. This is Richie's outfit. Super simple. <laughs> wow. Okay, what you have on? My boyish jumpsuit. I think it's my favorite jumpsuit, you guys. It's a cool jumpsuit. The perfect color, perfect fit, comfortable. Um, and it's so soft, actually, for it to be, like, jean. Mm -hmm. Then we got your Converse, ripple -y ones. Yep. Hopefully it doesn't get muddy. Cassie's OOTD. My OOTD. I have this Aritzia t-shirt dress. Yeah. And I paired it with this little corset from Frankie Collective. Ooh. That we have to keep adjusting. Keep adjusting according to if I'm full or not. <laughs> yeah. And then I have combat boots because I know it might be muddy. And it's cute together. And it's smarter than Richie. Whoa. For wearing boots. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know that trend on like TikTok where they put like a sheet and like take ghost photo shoots and stuff? No, I've never seen I haven't been on TikTok in a while. Chickadee. Hello. It's actually a lot of pumpkins. Yeah, we're kind of here like early. Early. It's definitely not picked over yet. Yeah, the, the abundance. Oh my gosh. It's literally like a sea of pumpkins. Cassie found a ladybug. He doesn't want you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'd freak out. Why? 
Not a big fan of bugs. The weather right now is very, it's very warm. So it's, oh my gosh, there's a bee on the lens. No, no, no. Like, no cap, right? like, no cap. On the lens. Get off. Did you see it? Like, what, how do you choose, like? Well, I just like the know. round ones. Are you gonna make a pie? Right? Yeah, that's nice. It's like round, not too big. Now we just have to carry it all the way back to my car. What are we getting? We're getting some lemonade. Thank you so much. Cardboard straw. Ooh, eco-friendly. How is it? getting anything. <laughs> Good? Good call on the iced tea. Our mini donuts are cooking. I love it. It's actually so good, this one. <gasps> Cassie in the wild. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That just like made my stomach feel weird. Hey guys, I have red hair! Woo. Woo! I really like it. I think it's super... I don't know, it's subtle because like it's only the bottom half basically but it still has like that pop of color I was looking for because I honestly miss being pink, pink haired, pink -haired. so much. Shout out to Hair by Sarmad for killing it once again. It looks great. I know a lot of you guys have DM'd me saying like you should dye your whole hair but um, I really just don't want to bleach my hair again. Honest opinion. I love it. Richie it loves really it. Healthy. So right now Richie and I are going to, I guess, one of our most used shoot locations, which is just down Pacific Coast Highway, all the, on the way to Cloverdale. Literally. It's just like a really random field. It's like not even a field, it's a walkway. It's like a walkway, kind of. I guess people go jogging there, but it's a, I mean like dried grass, right? <laughs> It just will look good because Richie and I are filming a little, I guess, just B-roll clips of this DIY video that we're doing. All right, so we ate our poke, went to the dollar store and got these carving tools. I am really surprised. I didn't even know that existed, like specifically for pumpkins. We actually went to Rona first and we got this Stanley drywall jab saw, <laughs> but then we ended up being able to go to dollar store after all. But this is definitely a lot better than the dinky like cutting tools that I used as a child. Mm. I feel like this could actually hurt someone. We already made our like little designs. <laughs> So you guys will have to wait and see, but this is Richie's first time carving pumpkins yeah. in the 12 years of being in Canada. Cause there's never found the need to carve pumpkins. Yeah. Or, I mean, you got here when you were 13. So I, I was already grown, I guess. Yeah. But I remember going to the pumpkin patch as a little kid for a field trip, grade one. And then my dad would usually carve the pumpkin for me. There's no pumpkins in Saipan, hey? I. Honestly, it's a faint memory. Maybe there were, but I that wasn't part of my childhood. I can't imagine pumpkins growing on an island. So we're cutting the top off. You can do it as a zigzag or a circle. I personally like doing it as a circle. So you're gonna want it to be like at least maybe four inches wide in diameter so that you can reach your hand in. Make sure you're cutting it on an angle so that when you take it out, it doesn't fall in. Like the top part doesn't like slip and fall into the right. pumpkin. Got it out. I might have even made it a little bit too angled. Look at it. Oh! So I'm just gonna fix that real quick. You guys are probably wondering like, you know, we're Christians, do we celebrate Halloween, et cetera, et cetera. The short answer is no. <laughs> no. But at the same time, we participate in fun activities such as, you know, carving a vegetable. Eating lots of candy. But just making sure that we don't, you know, promote, promote what it means. demonic figures. I'm just gonna make this thinner. Ooh, it's, it's honestly easier than I thought. Really? I thought it was like gonna be like, ah. Well, if you use the cheap ones then. Yeah. I used as a kid. Uh, this is the gross part. I'm honestly just gonna use my hands. Oh, get the guts out. Honestly, do you wanna make something with this? <laughs> there, we got some seeds um, that we can dry up. 
heard like pumpkins in other countries aren't even orange and they it's genetically modified to be orange or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. We're gonna carve. I wanna go in with the little tool first, the detail one. Oh, that it's looks so It's so satisfying. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna start. So cute. Dun, 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 dun. Yay! We both have kitties. Yeah, so we clearly have a theme going on. A little kitty cat theme. This is Richie's first ever pumpkin. My first ever experience doing it. It mm -hmm. was so fun. Yeah, yours turned out so it. cute. I love the ears on top. Mine, as you can see, we have this little kitty inside <laughs> her little house. Kind of She's made the so door cute. really big and it kind of, um, no, it's good. you know, it's too close to the window. But, you know, I saw this idea on Twitter. It wasn't a kitty, but I just had to do it because I just thought it was so cute. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video of us doing fall tings. What are you doing? Fall tings. Shout out again to Eva Hair for sponsoring today's video. Richie's Feeling hair. Fresh. It smells nice. so good. Air dried hair as per use. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram platforms at Cassie Massenkai, at Richie Pumming21, and at We Are To The Nines. Don't forget to hashtag You we haven't are been posting. <laughs> right. All right. See you guys later. Meow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and don't forget to follow. Fall, don't forget fall. To fall. Oh my whoa. Fall. <laughs> People to have be been hashtagging, <laughs> but we haven't been posting. Oh, Richie, Richie, it's okay.